one place for everything glamorous and daring, and that is the Riviera. Set against its volcanic cliffs, a Mediterranean melodrama of deadly intrigue, The Love Cage, is being filmed. The director is the renowned René Clément. His stars, Alain Delon, Europe's most popular young actor, and one of America's brightest young actresses, Jane Fonda. With an unfaltering hand, director Clément develops the tension of each incident in his film. Creating a spine-chilling thriller is a painstaking, often dangerous business. To accomplish a climactic moment in this horror-filled escape, the underwater crews, trained by the famed frogman Yves Costou, prepare to set their cameras, while Alain Delon, René Clément, and his cameraman assess the danger. Days of planning and preparation are required to achieve one spontaneous moment in Alain Delon's desperate bid to escape from a merciless pack of killers. The many cameras must be camouflaged before the key sequence can be made. Clément, a former cameraman himself, takes one of the six cameras. The underwater crews take to their stations. The scene is set, preparations complete. In this story of remorseless killers and their prey, the exhausting chase continues. Delon's escape leads to the shores of a nearby village. The young star will not use a double. He insists on doing his own dangerous and grueling work. This nearly caused Lloyds of London to cancel their production insurance, as their agent watched the star in one dangerous spot after another. Hour in, hour out, he swims until he feels there is no escape. In some ways, a thrilling escape is like a symphony in several parts. And this one has a conductor who gets the last ounce of excitement from every opportunity. Once seen, this escape will not soon be forgotten. Gently arching on the Mediterranean is Nice, the largest city on the Côte d'Azur. Along its famous Promenade des Anglais, Director Clément continues his predatory tale. In the most demanding role of her career, Jane Fonda concentrates hard on Clément's instructions. Daughter of one of America's best-known actors, Henry Fonda, Jane is already America's foremost young star in Europe. Having eluded his hunters and found refuge as a chauffeur, Delon senses his freedom may be short-lived. His pursuers are never far off his trail. The third important member of the love cage is Lola Albright, who plays the most unusual role of her career. In another part of Nice, filming is underway for an action gram sequence that holds onlookers spellbound. director wants the cars closer. Clément's penchant for authentic locations finds him at the historic railroad station in Nice. Producer Jacques Barr checks the film's progress as the director, changing his plan to take advantage of an unforeseen opportunity at the station, prepares with his star, Alain Delon, 
another chapter in the chase. of Cap Martin, just east of Monte Carlo, to the brooding, fateful Villa Clementina. This is the love cave, home of Jane Fonda, the millionaire's cousin, Lola Albright, and their new chauffeur, Alain Delon. It is not long before the sullen quiet of this Mediterranean mansion is disturbed by the chauffeur who drives Jane Fonda right into his arms with less effort than it takes to operate Lola Albright's Rolls Royce. The more mature charm of Lola Albright is no less appealing to Delon. Thus is woven a jagged triangle that cuts them all deeply. Not in the bar. Aren't you tired of acting like a child? Isn't that what's expected of me? Can I borrow a dress from before? Before what? Before John died. We agreed never to talk about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Besides, I gave you one three days ago. What do you intend to do with all these dresses? I want to please Mark. Take the dress. To the new rhythm of an old favorite, Jane Fonda is instructed in some of the finer points of the surf. Its rhythms are infectious. The surf is a new art form calling for more self-control than the twist. Everyone concerned makes ready for one of the film's climactic sequences. The final point is clarified between the director and his star. After the kill, the hounds close in. Some question remains, did they get the man they went after? Each scene is a strand in director Clemo's carefully woven story, with Jane Fonda displaying a dimension not seen before. Pitted against her provocative old arrival, Lola Albright. Both in pursuit of a fugitive playboy, Alan Delon, who has hunted the length and breadth of the Riviera. By turns, she tempts, teases, tantalizes, torments, until her tightly woven schemes unravel. And the brooding Villa Clementina, having worked its sinister magic, has seen the wheel come full turn. 